All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is The Elder Scrolls IV: Oblivion, Part Thirty Three. Let's get back into it. We just got the final Dwarven piece at Dagny's camp, and last time was basically entirely spent in Miskarkand, which was definitely the most difficult area we've been to so far. Huge challenge, but I enjoyed it a lot. Um, all right. So, I'm kind of worried that we missed something in here. This is kind of a big patch of land to have nothing. But, uh, I'm not seeing much. Let's, let's just walk over there a little bit. And if nothing shows up on our compass after a while... Oh, see, there we go. Oh, thank God I turned around. We might have missed the location. Can't be having that. Uh, we almost missed a keep. A fort. And also the bears in this area are super deadly. Just everything's so deadly. <laughs> Last time really showed us that we are not as strong as we wish we were. Fort Lynchell. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Oh, I forgot about the over encumbered stuff. Oh, we're gonna have to drink another potion of sorcery. Okay. Yeah, we've been having encumbrance problems because I'm wearing dwarven armor. More necromancers. They're everywhere, I swear. This had to be the most popular school of magic before it got outlawed. Another one? Ugh. Okay. Alright. Yeah, definitely taking our hits here. Yeah, we've been we've been pushed to low health for a while. There was a there was a time where we were like on the anvil border, doing all kinds of things over here, where the game was actually starting to get pretty easy. We were actually starting to be on top of it, and then and then no, then just no. What is our active quest right now? Oh, we do not need Dunbar code right now. Uh, the skin grad is where we're doing next. The Nern root thing. Seeking your roots. There we go. Okay. Well. Let's go into this fort. Maybe we'll be able to sleep after we're done with it. Or based on our current health and magicka, maybe we do it even sooner. Hard to say. We're definitely not in great condition. Sneaky, sneaky. Nothing to worry about, I guess. Nope. Just Good. my eyes playing tricks on me. Absolutely. Go ahead and turn around for us. Brother Martin doesn't even bother trying to sneak. Yeah. Alright. Oh, you're stuck in the corner with me now. Ah, he got out. This guy's taking some hits. Not even a necromancer at us. He's just taking hits. There we go. Another one. Called out for help, did he? Weave? Oh, yeah, she's not taking nearly the hits he was. Alright. Oh, Jesus, that was the Hall of Knights. I didn't realize that was like a whole new location. Let's go back and explore this one. What do we got in this area? Hello? Anybody home? There's a guy who's home. Alright. Very good. Now if we sneak up on him quietly, because they don't seem to turn around very often. God, are you... I, I jinxed the shit out of that. <laughs> oh my god. I couldn't have jinxed that harder. We're still over encumbered? Oh no. Oh no. Everything's just so heavy. We'll drop the lesser staff of severing. We were just gonna we were just taking it to sell it anyway. I wanna wear this dwarven armor because the more it gets damaged, the more we increase our armor by fixing it. And we need to get our armor to 50 as soon as we can, so that we can start fixing our magical armor. 
without having to pay other people to repair it all the time. Huh? You didn't hear anything. Completely silent. Ha ha! -ha! Rope of warning again. That's a good rope. I'm glad I keep finding that. There's a bedroll. The valuable, valuable bedroll. Oh. Oh. Okay. Nice. Uh, we did have an extra apprentice retort, didn't we? Which is not worth a ton of money for its weight. Okay. Novice mortar pestle. We just gotta find ways to reduce our weight a little bit. Alright, let's, uh, I guess sleep. For six hours. That's gonna put us right at midnight. And it'll level us up. Level eight. Xander. Four endurance. Uh, it's a quest. Not our greatest level up we've ever seen. We don't need personality. That is a worthless skill. Um, uh, agility is a plus four. And then it's strength or speed. And I think between the two, I'd prefer strength. So we'll go strength. Alright, so that's our level 8 level up. If we get one more plus 4, our endurance will be 100, and we'll be set on that, and we can start focusing on other stuff. Alright. What are we looking at right now? 247 HP, 60 magicka, 265 fatigue. We have so much health and fatigue. Insane. And, I'm gonna be honest, I actually want Xander... I think he's going to be a really powerful mage down the line, but that's not where his roots are. Eventually, this will be become a, ma a major focus for us, but we're trying to master the arts he'll be using less first. And we're already pretty on the way to level 9. That's kind of bad. We need to avoid leveling these skills as much as we can for a little while. We definitely need heavy armor and block to get a lot more level ups this time around. Minimum. Why wow, our hand to hand? 65. Look at that. Still only 6 damage with the hand to hand, but I'm sure it's getting closer, closer and closer to being 7 damage. The Temple of War. Whoa. Let's go to the Temple of Knights, Martin. Just kidding. That's a long way back, and I don't want to waste our time. Day 21, the final day of Xander's third week in Cyrodiil. After today in game, it will have been three weeks since Zan Xander woke up in that prison cell. Oh my god, just railed. Summon Skeleton Tone! <gasps> That's, like, an amazing pickup. That might be something we can actually do to get our, uh, Conjuration up. Do you want to add Summon Skeleton to your spell list? Yes! Apprentice. Summon Skeleton for 40 seconds on self. How hard is it? 57! That's doable! We can do that! <laughs> no, it requires a Conjuration skill of 25. Oh. <laughs> no! We need to get our Conjuration to 25, and then we can do that to train our conjuration but at least we have that option now i love that ah she saw all right oh poor you i think there's another one yep necromancer There we go. Another robe of warding. All about it. All about it. Okay. Oh, I didn't need that Mort Flesh. I need to stop picking that up. We Our alchemy is fine. We don't need to be raising our alchemy right now. Uh, especially since we're trying to not level up so fast at the moment. And Mort Flesh is definitely not something you're going to want to sell. It's only good for alchemy, so we need to chill on that. Ooh, another potion of pure disease and cure disease, pure disease, cure disease and sorcery. Nice. What? Did something back here see us just now? Really? Damn. Look at you. 
Let's see you swing. Yeah. Come on, let's see you swing. I'm not seeing much swinging. Oh, that's Brother Martin. Oh, I was hoping she'd swing more. Oh, well. We're gonna have so many scrolls to sell down the line here. Average lock. Okay. Okay. Nice. Frailty, shell cap, gold. Cure disease again. Water walking, I think that just was. I, I almost loot too fast. <laughs> but I know I'm basically... I look at the weight and the gold value, and if it's worth, like, 50 gold per pound or more, I just pick it up before I even bother reading it. Just because I know it's valuable per weight, which means it's at minimum it's worth a lot of money. And then I usually read it in time, but every once in a while I'll like go like, wait, what did I just pick up? This guy's a staff. Got a ghost that blocks me from moving. Look at that. Lesser staff of silence. Really? That's pretty good. Most of our weight is actually in potions. <laughs> <laughs> and scrolls and shit. When we finally get to Skingrad and are able to offload a lot of this, it's gonna be nice. Two arms! I'm dead. She like make she casts a preparatory spell and then she falls over. Okay. I have a feeling this dungeon is just gonna be one of those where you just clear it out and there's not much story to it. God, these ghosts are great at stopping my movement. Yeah. Got him. Okay. I saw that the weak poison of wariness is actually not worth a lot. Hold up. Let's take a look at the weak potions. Frailty, severing, wariness, drop five of those. Okay. Ow. All right, he looks. Oh, yep. I'm I'm forgetting to sneak. I'm getting impatient. This ends Mostly because this place is not threatening. This is what I was talking about earlier, where most locations have not been threatening threatening us that much. But lately, the uh, <laughs> the uh, God damn it. The areas around Miss Carcand were. Both the bears and the goblin skirmishers inside. There was the king. There was just so much that was actually like threatening to us for a while there. Ooh, an adept. I saw that. An actually decent opponent, looks like. Looks like this is the big room. Uh-oh. He just burdened us. Oh, also, we our, our encumbers ran out. I'm just going to fight here until our match comes back enough. Come on. There it is. We're still burdened, though. <sighs> okay, hold up. Brother Martin's unconscious. That's not good. There goes the bird. Okay. Oh my god, they're taking some punches out here. Brother Martin's unconscious again. Oh... Come on! You gotta be kidding me! They're getting us! By making us burdened, we can't move! Come on, Brother Martin, help us out! We gotta wait till this burden is done. Ah! Come on! There it is. Where? Where is this motherfucker? There you are, bastard. No! Stop healing and go down! I don't have so I only have so much help left. Oh boy. All right, bow time. These guys actually put up a good fight. Oh god, her staff has been doing this to us. Damn it. Hold up. Let's use one of our man-made restore health potions. 
This damn burden is so bad. Oh god, we're so stuck. I'm not dropping things for this burden. Dodged it, nice. Dodged it, nice. We just need to make sure we keep dodging. Why won't I die? Why won't you die? Okay, still dodging. Okay. Got her. Whoo! Okay, so, she was annoying. <laughs> well, the staffs of burden really mess us up right now. Wow. I mean, look at that. And it lasts pretty long, too. We just have to sit here and suck it up, don't we, Martin? Okay. Lesser staff of burden, yeah. It's got to be worth more than another staff I have. Yeah, the silence one, actually. I don't know about that. This red wave is so good, but it trains blade, which isn't what we're trying to train right now. Maybe I start using it, though. There's just so much to carry. Repair hammer. Nice. Good. It's okay if we increase this one in our major skills because this is an endurance skill. That does actually help us level correctly. Okay. So, some of these scrolls are not worth picking up. Uh, the ones that are worth like five and six. These. That'll free up some weight. Okay. Absorb magic a tome. Absorb magic at 10 points on touch. No, that's not worth it. Alluring gaze. Charm 12 points. Not worth it. Heavy armor repair. That was a skill book we already read, so drop it. Uh, minor dispel tomb. Tome. No, don't need it. Protect tome. Shield 5% for 30 seconds, not worth it. Soul Grasp, uh... Nah, we don't need it. Nah, we don't need it. Uh, Summon Skeleton, we already learned, but that's valuable. Uh, we gotta keep the Lusty Argonian made in the locked room. Those are the best books. <laughs> oh yeah, when I said the locked room's the only book I really remember, just kidding. I also remember the Lusty Argonian made. <laughs> oh, man. The first time I read that book, I didn't even realize. I didn't. I didn't understand. <laughs> I didn't understand the book. And now looking back on it, 15 years later, it, it all makes sense. Oh, base ring of endurance, fortify endurance, six points on cell. That's kind of nice. Wait a second. What are our other? What what rings are we wearing right now? Nihilism, right? I don't think we're wearing a second ring because none of them were worth wearing. Yeah, let's wear the base ring of endurance. A little, even more health. Okay. Because we can wear two rings in Oblivion, which I'm okay with. Yeah, we did this already. Yep. All right. So that was uh, very easy until the final room. Still very early morning. We did we did wake up at midnight, so fair enough. Okay, uh, this was where on the map? Okay, let's just do a quick double check, make sure there's nothing else over here we missed. And I guess we'll check that out too. Okay, something saw us. A boar, really? Oh, whoa, hold up. Why does this pig hurt so much? Whoa, boars, huh? Oh, why did I pick that up? I knew that was going to be too heavy, and I still picked it up. I was like, oh, boar meat, oh boy. Okay. Doesn't look like anything is out here uh, in this area. Looks pretty clear, except for that. But that's probably just another 
uh, way shrine that we need to activate for the pilgrimage. Nope, there's a mine right there. All right. Don't want to miss anything. Alien well. You draw power from the well. Oh, hey! Looks like we got a mine to explore. And alteration. Ugh, the thing is that alteration is one of our major skills, so every time we're having to use it, a little concerning. It's putting a timer, basically, on how long we have to master these endurance skills, but okay. We definitely need a plus four endurance on this next level up. Absolutely crucial. Hello. Shattered mine. Oh man, I forgot we three tap wolves now. And then this, yeah, this is it. Then we just hook back around, hit that shrine, whatever that was over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of wolves. Ooh, the timber wolf, that's right. Timber wolf's a little stronger. Ow. Alright. More heavy armor. More block training. Door to shattered mine. What do we got in here? 